Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to add a uh, Google search dial to your start uh, menu because um, if you've seen the video there's one Bing search uh, tile already on your uh, Windows 8 uh, desktop but a lot of people like I do prefer to have another search engine and Google is one example so how do you add a Google tile if you want to have that tile on your uh, screen well go into the Microsoft Store and once you're there you will actually just go into the search uh, the charms bar on the right side by either sliding or going to the corners with your uh, uh, little po mouse pointer click search and just type Google and there you'll be uh, sent basically in the store to the uh, Google search so you see it at the top it's a free app called Google search all you have to do is click on that and click the install button and once it's installed here it says it's installed you'll see that big blue G which is Google here right at the bottom uh, right of my screen here I've seen it it usually all new apps usually appear at the right side of your screen and of course you can click on it and just uh, send it wherever you want uh, I'll, for example I'll put it into the internet section that I have and here you have your Google app you can click on it brings the Google search page there's this little tutorial that you can actually click next and it's going to show you find answers quickly easily you search for Windows 8 and you can um, click the little um, show me and it's really nice because if you have a touch screen for example it's going to show you how to get all the uh, information and uh, how to access the toolbars so it's really well made because it's really there to explain to you how it works and um, of course one of the biggest problems is that most people buy um, buy their um, computers with no touch screen and since the tutorial is with the touch screen so how do you navigate if you don't have a touch screen that's another thing you can sign in on the upper right you can see here sign in so you can sign into your favorite account so you'll have all your personal information available and um, of course at the bottom you have history applications and the voice search you can actually do a voice search um, I haven't tried it I don't know if it works well but um, if you click voice search hello okay let's try the voice search um, Apple computer hmm, works quite well as you can see here you can actually voice search instead of typing if you don't like typing that's a great, 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 great way to search. So all you have to do is click that little voice search microphone here at the bottom. And uh, official Windows 8 YouTube. Oh, too late. But hey, brings a Microsoft website. Pretty cool. So uh, you can do a voice search, as you can see. You can uh, click on applications and make a um, search for apps. Um, you of course have history right here that you can uh, see what you searched for so if you made uh, a few search a few searches uh, yesterday or the day before you kind of want to know oh yeah I went uh, three days ago I went to a website uh, I don't remember what it is you can click your history and find out and uh, well you know if you type something and uh, want to view it you just click on the website and uh, what's interesting about the uh, Windows Google app is that it has kind of an integrated browser so um, it brings you inside of its browser kind of uh, into whatever uh, website that you've uh, chosen so it's a cool app if you like uh, searching Google uh, you should really really get and download the uh, Google uh, search app and if you right click 
you'll have more information the search at the top you'll have at the bottom a uh, voice search and everything is going to be there go home if you want so uh, by right clicking or swiping up down depending on uh, if you have a touch screen or not um, you have other options available so this is the Google search app for Windows and it's available in the Microsoft Store if you don't have it already if you're unsure if you have it you can go and search for it by going to the charms bar clicking search and just typing Google if you have the uh, app you'll see that Google there's a blue with a G in it be careful because you see Internet Explorer with Google and that means it's gonna bring you to the Google search page through Internet Explorer it's not the app itself so uh, <clears throat> Google search app really worth it to download if you do a lot of searches uh, and what's cool is that it really keeps track of all your searches what's nice also is that if you sign in into one of your accounts um, it will also bring in and tell you what you've been searching on other computers with uh, the same account so that's another extra value if you've been if you're doing searches on multiple computers that are all signed in to one of your uh, Google accounts um, well by signing in here you'll have more than just your local searches you'll have the searches and the history of all your searches on different machines if you enjoyed these uh, videos click the subscribe button you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions maybe you have something you'd like to see on a video and um, just ask away uh, there's a good chance that if you want to see something or see a feature in Windows 8 learn more about it well a lot of people want to learn also so not only will you help it help yourself you'll be helping others and if you have any comments or questions of course never never hesitate there are no stupid questions so thanks for watching hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye